What's up everyone, Eggquarters here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7 and the biggest house in the bayou. That's right, it's the Baker family household. So Jack got the red dog head last time and sort of went away with it in the basement, so I figured maybe, you know, he would have gone from upstairs in the house. And you know what? I was a ratten. I guess a rat. So I can now go in this room and get all the goodies. Which include whatever the hell I just picked up. Chem fluid and strong chem fluid. And a note. I'm tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. The next time one of our guests runs away, have the dark head released so they can't get out of the house. Let's have them like this. Living room grandfather clock. Mm, check. The book in the recreation room. Mm, check. The dark section room in the basement. Mm, not check, unfortunately. So... Uh, there are some teeth. Hmm, nice. And there is some shotgun shells. And a, a delightful little bedroom we have here with a nice picture of a younger Jack, I assume. And, oh, dear Mrs. Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I've finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. Or maybe T-virus? The hallucinations and noises you said you've been hearing may be related may be related to these growths, or maybe everyone just has brain tumours. If your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. For the last of us, I don't mean to scare you, but I am seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo future tests. Crawford Lang, Dolby, a general hospital. Oh, right, so they did know about it. There's some more stuff in there, but I can't read it. So I will take the broken shotgun, and I will go and swap it, and get the good shotgun. Or what I hope is the good shotgun, and not just a broken one. Is Marguerite also gone from down by the caravan? It looks to be that way. It looks to be that way. So I have a feeling. Ooh, a fleur de lis. Nice. Saints Row slash New Orleans would be proud. So I'm thinking that I'm going to be finding big old Jack again in the basement for a red dog head. Yoink. Oh, thank you. I've got a shotgun. I reckon I'm going to carry this shotgun around. Although I might just have my pistol out for the minute. Oh no, I need to take the shotgun shells. Because otherwise I'd be there and I'd be like, mm, I'd like to shoot my shotgun now, please. And then the game be like, mm, well, you know what you need to shoot shotguns? Shells. And I'll be like, but I don't have any turtles. And the game will be like, not those sort of shells. It'll say with a sigh. And I'll be like, I'm sorry game. My apologies. We're going to head back through here. I really hope that these things don't regenerate. Because that'd be gross. But also, they live in Louisiana, right? In a swamp, right? How did they get all of this stuff underground? Is that like a bilge pump? Hmm. The logistics of building a big old house in the bio. It's difficult. Especially when you're making huge things underneath. And presumably they weren't always ill. So did they make this before they were ill? And they just had a really impressive medical centre underneath? Is there going to be a boss through there? Is that going to be a fight with Jack? Herb. And some shells, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, I think it is going to be a fight. I think it's safe to say. Let's get on through, shall we? Ooh. Okay, cage fight it is. And in the red corner. We can't open the door in the red corner. And in the blue corner we have Jack. Probably. Do I want to go in there? I'm going to switch back to my handgun because it wasn't a boss fight like I thought. Oh, this is where Jack was. With the nice carcass. I mean, sure, people make meat, right? But they don't make that much meat. I'm going to combine some more healthy health, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Judging by the amount of... Oh. Hello, police officer. Poor deputy. Poor deputy. Why are you flowing? You're sort of flowing. I can't shoot at you. I would like to shoot your corpse, please, but I, I can't, so I won't desecrate you in that way. Yeah, I'm going to get the shotgun back out. I changed my mind. I'm a wimpy cat. Hmm. Corpse. 
Why are we kicking a corpse? Why is that an option? What are we hoping to achieve by that? I don't really know. Huh. Huh. Oh, it's the dog's head. But it's got some barbed wire on. Oh, that was an awful trap. Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh dear. Should should have seen that coming. Hey. You ain't getting away. Can I stun you by kicking this into you? No. Can I stun you by kicking this into you? Oh no. Can I stun you by kicking this into you? Sort of. Oh, brutal. Yes. Oh, I would have quite liked that chainsaw. Mm. Jack. No. I want the chainsaw. What did I just pick up? Oh dear. Oh, okay. Can you please break through this so I can get the chainsaw, Jack? Or am I just going to have to stand here? I'm, o I'm okay. Can I kick this at you yet? Oh, you are going to get the chainsaw. Great. Can't I just kill you now? Please? Okay, there we go. That's right through your face. I'm pretty sure this will at least put you down for a little while. You know, if I... D oh, that's gross. Uh, okay. Thrust. Thrust attack. You shouldn't leave power tools unattended, really. Um, well, they weren't really unattended. I suppose it was behind a thing of chicken wire. Stabby, stabby. Right in the back. Oh, this is this is visceral, as, as the magazines will put it. Visceral combat. Okay. Oh, really? Now I've got to reload? Ugh. Okay, just keep attacking and you block. Pro tips right there. The Dark Souls of video games. Yeah, take that, Tumor. Oh, what are you doing? Look, Jack, just stop fighting. Stop resisting. Re submit to my will. Submit. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile, you big tumorous ass. Yep. I'm messing your back up seriously, man. This is gonna hurt, hurt you more than it's hurting me. There we go, right in there. Stabby stab, shavy shave. Look, I'm basically a surgeon. Oh, okay. You exploded. Nice. Oh, stop. Stop. Get down. Bad boy. I'm not going to saw through this. Am I? That's metal. Chainsaws don't work on metal. They are very metal, but... Oh, I've broken you now, haven't I? Favor and stay dead. Yeah, that, that'd be nice. However, I doubt that that's going to be the case. Because why would he die dead? Why would he die dead? Why indeed? So we got the red dog head. And I'm going to go through here and see what's down these stairs since... 
There's probably some stuff down here, or way out, or scorp snake door. It's a snake door. And then down here, some gunpowder. Lovely. And some... Hmm, beautiful. Beautiful things, aren't they? So I'm probably going to leave that episode there now that I've killed Jack. Even though I only killed him a little bit and he's probably going to come back to life. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.